what's up guys Sunday morning got in here I uh, just got started lots of stuff to do um, 20 projects I could do not sure which one to do so just kind of started going in and I'm terrible about throwing shit away and uh, ordering things bringing things in and them just sitting so started just getting trash together throwing shit away uh, going through things I tell you guys all the time uh, just do it stand the fuck up just do it well a little confession is I do so much of that I do that I do exactly what I tell you but other stuff slips like the silly little shit the silly little shit that doesn't take any time to do um, so I've just spent an hour or so just doing that kind of stuff and I have days worth of that shit but in doing it it's not the important stuff it's just the little teeny um, things that make your life just a little bit easier once they're done you never think of them again um, but once you have like lights I've got some lights to put up and as soon as I put them up I'm like holy shit those are nice why have they been sitting here in a box for a year so that's the kind of shit like this is a really cool skeleton I have it's been sitting here probably two years not since this blade show but last blade show I ordered it in the hotel room at blade show and it's been sitting here I just have to glue the head on it it's just fucking sitting here uh, elastic I have cases of elastic I haven't organized and put anywhere um, I've got these just boxes of trash I got jumper cables need to go in the truck I have extra cables that go onto the uh, inverter I've got this jump charger that needs to go back in one of the Porsches I've got this light this battery powered light I got them for the feed house there's no power out there so I just need to pop them in place. I've got this light. I put two of them up. I'll show you in a second. I've got two more here. I want to say I bought these at Costco or Sam's Club, and I don't know that they're awesome. It was just kind of an impulse buy. Like I noticed, like when I stopped going to Costco and Sam's Club, I stopped spending an extra thousand dollars a week. I would go to Sam's Club or Costco and come home with a ton of shit that I never went there to get. So in not going there. I just don't come home with tons of shit. Like I have, I have storage rooms full of that shit, and it's all prep stuff. Like you would definitely want all this shit in an emergency. But if you have a hundred grand in prep shit sitting around, and you have an emergency, what could you have done? Like how much of that shit are you really going to use, short of like a grid down situation or a long term emergency? If you got a hundred grand tied up in that shit. What else could you have done with that hundred grand? If you had that hundred grand and just infused it into your business, what could you turn that hundred thousand dollars into? Shit, you could build <clears throat> in two years. Yeah, and it's security, right? You have it, it's a sense of security. And in an emergency, you definitely would need that shit. But if you took that two hundred thousand dollars and put it into business or a hundred thousand dollars into business and flipped it and in a couple of years made it half a million dollars. You could build a block fucking building that couldn't be blown down by a tornado. You know, shit like that. So, I've got these lights. Um, they're only 400 lumens. They run on four D cells. They come with the D cells. I think it's D's. D's or C's. Uh, no. Yeah, D cells. So, kind of neat. They just bolt on. They pivot. They 360. They'll pivot up and down. And uh, they're just motion lights. So I got them to put inside like the feed shed and the outbuildings and <clears throat> up by the dog kennels and stuff where there's no power run up there. We need to run power. Another thing, another one of those, we need to do this. I just haven't done it. So that's what I've spent the last hour or so this morning doing. Um, I have a serious, serious farmer's tan. And when I take my shirt off, people are always like, ah, farmer's tan, farmer's tan. They're fucking with me, whatever. But I've been making a point especially uh, when I'm up before everybody else uh, like on the weekends when I'm in here on the weekends and nobody's here or whatever I'll just walk around a few laps around the building whatever with my shirt off and they say that sunlight uh, and vitamin D sunlight ups your testosterone takes care of acne it's like good for everything in your life you hear have heard all this stuff about you know the Sun gives you cancer and the Sun this and Sun that and there's a lot of studies out right now that say that that in Overexposure, of course, but more so in no exposure and lack of exposure, you've seen cancer rates go up with all the chemicals and shit that they're giving you to put on your skin uh, to block sun. So whatever, um, that's just kind of what I'm doing on Sunday. I'm just getting some stuff done 
really so that I can organize my workspace in there and throw a bunch of stuff away that's in the way and uh, throw away the packaging and by doing that that means putting it up so that's what I'm doing on Sunday right now these come with little screw kits but I'm not going to use those little bullshit screws. Um, I'm just going to use drywall screws. I'm putting these out by the gate. So when you go to close the gate in the middle of the night, one of the lights that there triggers, um, depending where you're at. So I'm going to walk out there and just put these on the fence and by the, uh, by the place where the gate sits when it's open right now. Falls, uh, <clears throat> falls here. I don't know by date if it's fall or not, but the leaves are completely off a bunch of these trees. We ran down the, the back side of the trail a couple days Friday, just Amanda and I and Cody on the four wheelers, and the trail is already 12 inches deep in leaves. All the trees are dropping all our leaves. A little bit of breeze out today. It's still probably 80, 85 degrees out here. But you can see there's leaves blowing and winds blowing. Before you know it, it'll uh, it'll be winter here. Slow the fuck down. That's for FedEx in the trash truck. We have so much gravel out here. They're big trucks. Spread it out. So, about twice a year, we have to bring in more gravel and we do all this bullshit. And it's 90% uh, of the damage was uh, FedEx and the trash truck. So, that's what that sign is. There's a few of them. It says slow down, slow the fuck down. Yes, this means you. Basically, if you're making dust as you drive up this driveway, you're going too fast. I'll put this, I think, at an angle. Maybe it'll keep some of the water out of there. I don't know if that'll work or not. My guess is it will be the, the UV light, the sun, that literally just destroys these things. That's probably going to be the failure point that the bracket that it sits on breaks. I, um, I'm not sure what brand they are. Like I said, I bought them a year, maybe even two years ago, and they've sat here. I'm sure that there's something better out now. Just get on Amazon, read some reviews. If you need some motion-activated lights um, and you don't have power to where they're at, the solar ones are pretty good. I've got some little solar ones that are still out there running. But I, uh, I really bought these to put inside the feed houses because there's no power in them. So I need a battery-operated. So. If you were looking to do what I just did right here, I would get some solar ones um, if you don't have power. These are running on Ds. I just figured I'll pop them right there and see if it makes the, uh, the situation any better in the dark. And if it does, then I'll replace those with solars and uh, just move those inside the feed houses and stuff. So on this shelf I found yet another motion sensing uh, battery powered light. So I'm going to run out here to the feed house and put this one out there. So when you go to order, when you go to order these things, you'll see a lot of them will say they come with Duracell batteries, which to me is better. If they don't say what brand, they probably come with some shitty batteries. And there definitely is a, a difference in batteries. So be aware of that also. We've said for a long time 
that we need to take this and put gutters on it because we don't have them. We did put a, a big, nice, heavy bed of gravel down here before we set this, and it's all set on blocks. So it's elevated 24 inches on the back, about 12 inches to the ground on the front. But it's just dead space. We could set IBC totes all across here, or tanks, and catch all kinds of water. It's the downhill side, so I mean, We'd have to truck it up or move it up or pump it up somehow to get it up uphill, but just to have water in storage definitely is a, is a plus. Will this clamp on a door? Well, these GoPro flexible goosenecks with the clamps are great if you guys film anything. That's what I shoot probably 90% of my stuff off of. The Jobies. The Gorilla Pods are real nice, but they're heavy, and they're way overkill for a GoPro. And right now I'm filming off of a uh, Hero 7 Black. That might be a that might be a terrible location. Catch a face full of. 400 lumens but we'll see um, definitely a lot of stuff in here needs to be addressed brown recluse spider right there I don't know if you guys can see him um, a lot of moths in here We've got uh, partial bags of feed and seed and all kinds of shit in here um, I'm sure that under these pallets are full of mice nests all kinds of food down there for them so we just need to get in here just one more thing we just need to get in here pull everything out there's that deer head I've been looking for um, get in here pull everything out clean it sweep it out organize it um, right now to get anything out of the back you gotta spend 15 minutes pulling shit out of the front so a few minutes spent now saves a ton of time later